How's it going everybody? Mr. Ninja Soul coming at you. And today I'm going to show you the character creation in Cyberpunk 2077. As you see, you have three different um, life paths in the game. Nomad, Street Kid, and Corpo. In this one, I will decide to try out the, I believe, Street Kid. Now, the starting path changes the whole storyline and it mainly just changes your dialogue options. Now, as you can see, you can make your voice tone masculine or feminine. Feminine. You can change your skin type, skin tone, you name it. All kinds of hairstyles. You can pretty much virtually make the character look exactly like you. Now, I'm going to go through all the different um, eye colors. So right there, as you see, the eye that I'm on is blue, but it's like a, a bloodshot. And then you can change, you know, the look of your eyes and everything. You can pretty much make the character look however the hell you want to that's what's so interesting about this game and it's so intricate the um character creation in this game it's the best i've seen in any game there's so many different options um i can't remember how many times i went through the eyes before i finally found the one that looked closest to mine what i was trying to do is pretty much make myself uh in the game now the only difference i didn't do in here is um, give myself a goatee but for the most part I do believe I have the eyes correct in here and then I just kind of fold around the eyebrows a little bit and kind of make it look how I wanted to now the one thing I will say that this game really needs to improve upon is its colorblind options because the deuteranopia and tritanopia and protonopia is a little too strong in some areas and I suffer from what is called deuteronomaly and some of the colors are just straight wrong I don't know if they've improved that though with the latest patch uh, this actual video was taken before patch uh, 1.11 so it's not gonna have some of the improvements of the game but all in all I mean even with all its forthcomings and not forthcomings shortcomings sorry um the game is actually really fun and a lot of fun to play it's very enjoyable it's got a very 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 rich storyline and if you're into rpgs this is definitely the kind of game that you want to play so i think what i did right here i think i finally figured out that the eyes that i did were way wrong Let's see, I think I settled on eyes four or five here. I can't remember which one I settled with, but for the most part, I definitely made the character look as close to me as I possibly could. Um, I can't remember the exact eye shape that I went with though, because after I did this video, I have since um, completely restarted and did nomad and as you can see like i said you can do so many different um choices with your eyes i mean it, the, the possibilities of what you can do with your character is just completely endless and i think it's funny how you can do that with your eyes you can have like bull's eyes skulls you name it red eyes all right now the nose i've got right now that now with the jaw and everything else it's actually pretty hard to do but they're just it's there's so many different hair types beard types now i don't know what entirely the options are with the female but i'm pretty sure there's a lot of different options you can do now what what i find really funny and you're going to see here in a little bit is that you can literally um change the size of your genitalia i mean it, it goes into full detail on that like they they didn't hold back on any of this it's it's hilarious um you can pretty much make it tiny uncut or long dong silver if you really wanted to um you can do all kinds of piercings here facial tattoos facial scars now the cyberware is basically like where you have cybernetics now you can have that on there or you can completely turn that off to where you don't really have any cyberware scars but I don't know. I just kind of like the look of it. And of course, you can make change your teeth. You make it like gold. 
in a way, now, the one thing you can do, you can also make your dude be like a transsexual. You can make him be a dude but have um, a feminine voice. Now, here's what I'm talking about with the genitalia right here. This is what's hilarious. So you can go, and the thing is, you can give him, you can give him a pussy too, instead of having a dick. So, like I said, long, small, and then your default, which is average, and then you can go through different pubic hairstyles, full bush, uh, for the floor, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's hilarious what you can do. And after you're all said and done, you go through and. You do your, you know, your skills that you want to start off with. I would highly recommend you start off with high technical ability and body because that's going to be your main skills that you're going to use anyway. I mean, but it, it's, it's your choice, you know, and how you want to play the game. But I will definitely say overall, this is one hell of a damn good game. All right, so... If y'all want to see gameplay like this and other RPGs, come to my Twitch channel. Link will be in the description below. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take it easy, everybody. Hope y'all have a good one.